everybody. Welcome to Life at Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. It's been another busy week. Um, last Friday, my husband wanted a haircut, so I thought I'd ride along with him. He had to go three different places before he could find someone that took walk-ins. Because his usual, usual place that he went was closed. So while he was doing that, I looked on the internet to see if I could find some things to help our dog. Now she's a 13 year, 13 and a half year old German Shepherd mix. And she got hurt about three years ago. She hurt her back legs and tore a ligament, he thinks, in the leg. And it never has really healed up well as she's gotten her strength back in there. And she had supposed to have an appointment in June to go back to the vet. Well, last year's appointment was a complete disaster. We could have a hard time getting her in the car because of that weak behind legs. And when she got to the vet's office, she lost her footing on the slippery floor. And it took us forever to get her up. So that's when I bought the harness, uh, not the harness, but the sling that I used to take her outside and get her up. But that's not meant to really lift her completely up. And so we're not going to take any chances this time. I was looking for a faux body harness that completely puts on puts on around her that you could either lift her up, single person can lift her up, or two people can lift her up depending upon how much she can help. And I found one, so I ordered it. I also, she has another problem, 13 and a half years old. She has had a lot of bladder and infections and stuff. And now she leaks a little bit and we need to adjust, adjust just address this with the vet and see if we can figure out if she's got another infection or if she's just having problems because of the back legs and the muscles being weaker. So I decided to buy her some adult diapers for the puppy. <laughs> These are washable so I can wash them out and I've got a utility sink around back which I can rinse them out in and just hang them on the clothesline to dry. So I only bought three because I didn't know if they were going to fit or how she was going to do with them. So I bought those Friday and waited for them to come. And also we um, watered the garden. It took almost two hours to water the garden. We have not had a good rain for I know at least two to three weeks. It has not rained really, really well at all. Especially, I know it hasn't rained for the last two weeks because I've had to hobble out there and water the garden every other day. And on super hot days, it was every day. And so I don't, we definitely need water. But it took two and a half hours to water it completely. Then on Saturday, my husband had to get up really early, like eight o'clock in the morning, to go into the apartments to um, meet a guy to look at the stairway because the carpet on the stairway needs to be replaced again. So the guy's going to replace the carpet. Eight of the stairs need to be, re the stair carpet on eight of the steps need to be replaced. And then we're going to have somebody come and clean the other, the rest of it. So at least we had enough leftover carpet from last time that we can do these eight steps. So that's a good thing. Um, we didn't really do much that afternoon. We kind of visit with our do uh, our son. He was still home. Um, Aunt Darlene came out and visit. That was nice. She hadn't been out here for a long time and really enjoyed having her come out. And she was between baseball games. Her grandkids were playing in Seymour, and they couldn't leave between the games. I don't know. It's some rule that they have, but she could. So she came out and visited with us. So that was nice. And then after that, we went to town and ate at the Mexican place, which I always enjoy. Always very, very good food there at El Nepal. Sunday, we skipped church because Douglas was going back to Ohio. So we skip church. He usually leaves before we ever get back from church. So we wanted to be here to help him pack up everything and make sure he pick, 
make sure he took everything. <laughs> and like always, he always forgets something. I walked in here, um, I think on Tuesday, and saw that he had left uh, the heating pad, which I had been using. It's not really a heating pad. It's an infrared uh, pad. Uh, it gives off some heat, but it really does a good job on your back. So I don't know if he left it on purpose because my back was hurting or whether he just forgot it. But anyway, I'll, I'm keeping using it while he's not here. Uh, so he called later on and said that he'd gotten back to Ohio safely. So that was a nice um, thing. Uh, while he, after he left, we, my husband and I started weeding around the front. I had been putting that off, waiting for my back to heal up more. But it was, it was feeling better, so I did weed. I got the area by the uh, swing completely weeded and Douglas always brings gifts love it about this kid he always brings gifts and one of the things he bought was some solar lights which worked perfectly perfectly over my swing so it kind of invites you at night to go and just sit in the swing and so I put those up and really enjoy them uh, they've been doing a fantastic job. Um, so, thank you, Doug. <laughs> okay, this is what I weeded. Got all those weeds out. Got a couple of hostas that got mowed down because I didn't get out here and weed. And just got a little too close to them, but the rest of them are doing fine. I did buy some new flowers. I'm um, put around here. I haven't just say hello baby. Hello fluffy. Yes. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to plant them into the ground or if I'm going to put them in flower pots. I'm leaning, trying to lean towards the flower, plot, flower plot, pots. And then I did plant a new little plant back there. I hadn't seen a sedan like that before and that's what was labeled so I bought that one. Usually the ones I have are like that. So we'll see how it goes. But those are the lights that he got me. And they looked so nice. <laughs> okay, 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 I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotcha. She just took, he just took a flying leap. Hey. Hey. Stop it. Okay. He just took a flying leap just to say hi to everybody. Yes. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Now that I have a cat. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday was a busy day. Oh, my gosh. It started out at before 9 o'clock. Uh, my husband got a phone call. Not a phone call, but a text saying that they had drainage problems at the apartments so he left and did not get back until after two in the afternoon no more and got home for a little bit and the plumber called and he went back to town so i had the whole day basically to myself and i got a lot done i changed all the sheets on all the beds since they had been occupied this past week i get the cat off get down Okay, I changed all the sheets on the beds since they were had been used past week and did laundry, like seven or eight loads of laundry. Um, gave the dog a bath. And this is the uh, sling that I was talking about. So I, that's the one I used to have been using. The diapers came on Monday and she has no problem with those <coughs> she doesn't like the cat today she has no problem with those and the uh, <coughs> harness leave the kitty be the harness came on Tuesday so that was it came right after I gave her a bath so I had to wait until later to try it. <coughs> hey hey leave the cat be I'm trying to film here. I'm trying to film here. Leave the kitty be. 
on Wednesday we got much needed rain but I still needed to water inside the greenhouse and I'm happy to report that finally the little corn is getting sprouted so I may have a faux bed of corn after all hopefully so anyway watering this gently so it's not to knock the big stalks over or to drown the little stalks and we're just going to water this nicely and you see the rest of this is doing really well in here they didn't get the rain from outside but the humidity and the um, just the moisture in the air has really set things off to growing in here wonderfully it's been nice and cool today I didn't have to do anything to uh, keep the uh, temperature down so it's nice I'm just gonna let this bed get some water it was a nice day so I left the puppy or not puppy the dog I left her outside all morning she wanted to stay out and when she's outside I don't have to worry about her making any accidents as you know she's 13 and a half years old and she's having some problems with her urine tract right now um, I um, bought her some diapers and stuff that I'm going to use to take so when I take her into the vet so she doesn't make a mess in the car but anyway we've been keeping her outside when we've been outside if it's been cool enough or on the porch with the fan and during the time when she's in the evenings I've been putting the diapers on her do not leave the diapers on at night so she has pee pads at night time so hopefully we were waiting for this uh, harness to come the lift harness it came on Tuesday I have not had a chance to try it on her yet I gave her a bath uh, Tuesday and um, Wednesday I had her outside most of the day and I used that opportunity to wash the pee pads wash the diapers that we'd already used disinfect my washing machine after washing them <laughs> and then I shampooed the carpet and let that dry before I put uh, the rug back down and the pee pads back down so I did that Wednesday and uh, like I said disinfected the washing machine and he was gone most of the day Wednesday still had problems with that apartments too plumbing for some reason they insist on putting grease down the drain and that clogs up the pipes so we have that problem so hopefully that will be solved by the end of the week like I said on Wednesday he was out there working with it and didn't get home until late well Wednesday we got some much needed rain so Thursday I was out here in the garden and I discovered cabbage worms on this kale bed so I spent a lot of time pulling off really damaged leaves and looking for cabbage worms and cabbage worms eggs and taking them off by hand. I got the uh, bush beans and the parsnips and the cucumbers weeded. Parsnips, uh, they did fine on this end. That end down there didn't do so well same thing with the uh, cucumbers I don't see many cucumbers coming up so I'm gonna have to replant the cucumbers and then I got the um, cabbage bed weeded and I've had this row cover on since the day I planted them big difference didn't find a single cabbage worm in this group and then I got the po beans bed weeded and like I said something had been nibbling off the tops but after this rain they seem to have gotten a good little burst so hopefully they're growing up enough now that whatever's nibbling them off won't be destroying them and I'll, we'll get some green beans off of here so that is our week it's been a busy one we've got a lot done he's been working on the shed I've been helping wherever he needs it and we've we're making progress on that too so remember like share subscribe 
Dream big, follow that dream, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.